Hi, this is Chris from Free Library Springfield Township. Today we're making recycled books, bookmarks on behalf of Earth Day. Today we're using books, pages from books that are no longer needed and so they have been recycled because they could be um, books that have been taken out of a library's collection. They could have been written in, they could have been uh, damaged. Um, there's a lot of reasons why you can have a, a book ready to be recycled, but just make sure whatever book you choose to take a page out of is a book that truly is not needed anymore. Um, so just make sure that when you uh, choose a book that it truly is not needed. Um, so what we're doing today is we are making bookmarks out of pages from books. So uh, I've made three in advance because it takes a bit for the bookmarks to dry before you can potentially draw on them. And so um, I wanted to make some in advance so you could see what it is that we're actually doing as an end product. Two of them I have actually um, punched and put ribbon in, cord. One I just did is a flat bookmark. Um, I actually have done stamps. I've drawn, and this one I actually put stickers on. So you can see the way in which that you finish them is a wide variety of options. So let's start on what it is that you actually do to make this happen. So I actually took a piece of book that is two and a quarter inches wide, and then I took a piece of cardstock because you need something that has a little bit of uh, weight to it. So when you glue these together, it has some uh, stability. And so I take and use a product called Mod Podge. I happen to like that because it is a good um, glue between uh, two pieces of paper. You can also use like an Elmer's glue or potentially a glue stick. But if you're using Elmer's glue, you need to make sure that you get it um, very thin and uh, not lumpy and glue stick you need to make sure that you're getting it all the way on your corners and all the way um, through the center so that everything is uh, glued down when we're done okay because you don't want any of it coming apart while you're using your bookmark so with the Mod Podge taken again you cover all your corners oops there we go you just paint this on okay Set that off to the side, and then take an eye, line up my book page. So I have these cut pretty much exactly the same size, and line that up, and then just press it to the side so they try not to get any air bubbles in there. Press it down so that it gets contact in all areas. Now what you are going to need to do before you can do this, you need to let it dry because it has made this paper now wet, especially if you're going to dry, draw on it with markers or anything. But the other thing that happens is because you have put glue all over this surface is that this paper curls and you can see that it's done a bow here. Um, so what we need to do is we need to take and we need to flip it upside down and we need to put some kind of a book or heavy object on top of it and put it upside down and put it on top of here and then the weight of it will flatten it out and then it will dry and it will be flat so then your bookmark won't curl when you're done. Okay, so once it's all done, do that and come back to it in an hour or so and it should be dry and it will be flat and then you can continue on. So like I said, the ones that I had done earlier, I had taken and I had done a rubber stamp on this one. I had done, this one is actually my initial. So I had taken and drawn my initial and then had just done some dots on it. So you could do, you know, little hearts. Something like that. Decorate it however it is that you want. Put some stars. Oops, that star did not come out all that well. Okay. 
to hearts and stars with my initial. And this one, like I said, I had some other stickers that I put on just to create another layer to this. So things that I had to create an excellent bookmark. These two, I then punched a hole in and put some cord that I had. And this one I even went a little bit farther and trimmed the corners to make it a little more interesting. All these things are things that you can do to your bookmark once it's done and dry. World is full of possibilities for what you do once this is finished. So enjoy it, have fun, be creative, and make your bookmark your own. So this is a recycled book bookmark. Have fun for the Earth Day. Be safe, be careful, and we hope to see you again soon at the library. This is Miss Chris from the Free Library Springfield Township saying have a great day. Bye.